Flavor City family, what is up? It is Bobby coming at you from the parking garage here at Trader Joe's on the north side of Chicago because I have to do some shopping. And I realize we haven't done an in-store shop along at Trader Joe's forever. And there's a really good reason for that. If you remember in the past, every time I tried to do one, either solo style or with art, I got kicked out. But you know what? It's the holiday season. Maybe I'll go solo style, go undercover, and try to do a shop along at Trader Joe's because I love shopping here and I miss sharing it with you guys. So I want the culinary venture to begin and hopefully we will not get kicked out. Uh, before we get rocking and rolling, like, subscribe, share. We have a ton of content going live every single week. There's also a bell icon below the video, enable all notifications so you don't miss out. Also, I want you to check out thrivemarket.com using my promo link in the description box. Thrive has been sponsoring the channel for over five years now. And every Everything you would normally get at a Trader Joe's or any of your favorite grocery stores is on Thrive Market for cheaper. You typically save about $32 per order compared to going to the store and the box arrives to your house. Plus they have this barcode scanner on their app. You can scan any price uh, at the grocery store. It tells you if it's cheaper on Thrive Market and all Flav City fans get the hookup when you click my promo link in the description box. You get a free gift up to 24 bucks when you sign up and it's 30 days risk free. I love Thrive market i think you're gonna love it too and i love shopping at trader joe's let's go y'all i gotta give tj some props on that big wall of uh, coffee they have two winter and holiday themed flavored uh, coffees that are really really clean uh this gingerbread coffee you'd think it'd have natural flavors or maybe artificial flavors like most on the market you guys look at that it's coffee dried ginger real cinnamon allspice nutmeg that's really nice it's pre-ground and it's eight dollars for that container right there and the wintry blend here sprinkled with spices once again no natural flavors are using green and red peppercorns that's classy and cinnamon two really good flavored uh coffee options here at trader joe's without natural flavors Woohoo! high five when you walk into the frozen aisle never sleep on these two superfood packets right here you have frozen acai and frozen acerola. Acerola we've talked about. Acai we might have mentioned a while ago, but it's unsweetened pure. Acai, this is what you want. This is the superfood without any nasty cane sugar, which a lot of them have on the market. And it's what, $4.49, which is a really good deal. And the acerola is a vitamin C. Well, this was open already. That wasn't me, I promise. The acerola is a vitamin C powerhouse here. Look at that. 1100% of your daily recommended intake. Blend that up with water. Not sure what happened there. I'll tell the manager about that. Um, and then I see out of the corner of my eye, they have potato pancakes, which we are making on live stream tonight, which is actually two days ago for you guys. And my potato pancakes are not gonna have canola oil or matzo meal. They're a bit cleaner. So if you wanna watch that, go check it out. It's really cool. Oh my gosh, I almost walked over this and I'm glad I didn't. I've never seen this. Keto Fudge Bites by Do Good. You guys, look at the ingredients. Almonds, inulin is the second ingredient. That's the fiber that helps back out the carbs. But whey protein concentrate from grass-fed cows. MCT oil. The only ingredient I don't like is natural flavors. It's sweetened with stevia. Look at that. It's two net carbs per serving. I mean, most all, um, well, Waldo, most all keto sweets have natural flavors. I haven't seen one without it. That's the only bad one. So I'm okay trading the natural flavors for all the sugar that would normally be in here. $4.99, I can easily see this for like six bucks at most grocery stores. Someone try these. Let me know if you like them. I haven't get them yet. Wow, that's really, really exciting. You guys, I don't know how Trader Joe's is doing it because there is a national shortage right now on wild rice. It's so hard to find anywhere. This is a pound package for $5. Even when it's in stock at other grocery stores, a pound is usually eight or $9. So I don't know where they're getting it from. Let's see, it should be USA. Yes, he product of the USA, but one of the biggest producers, Lundberg out of California has been out because of Corona. So if you're here, scoop this i always have this in my pantry when you eat carbs you want nutrient dense carbs this is high in fiber high in protein and technically it's not even a uh, rice it's a aquatic grass so there's no heavy metals at all i love this stuff scoop 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 we talked about it recently but i've really been enjoying this new product here it's the raw raspberry vinegar 
with the mother, the probiotic mother in there. I put a shot into four ounces of water, uh, maybe a few times a week for a gut reset, or just use it for a vinaigrette. The flavor is so darn lovely. A few fans have told me they can't take it uh, straight up because it bothers them. You shouldn't take this straight up. It's vinegar. If you take it too much without any other water, it's going to actually be bad for your teeth. So just dilute it three or four times a week in four ounces of water with a tablespoon. Very good for your gut, but the flavor is lovely and great for vinaigrettes. See, I talk about some products all the time. Next thing you know, they're sold out. Is anyone else having a hard time locating my favorite gluten-free organic yellow lentil and brown rice pasta? They have this one here, brown rice and quinoa, but it's not good. It's very sticky. You guys know what I'm talking about. That brown, that uh, brown rice and yellow lentil pasta sits right there. It's the best textured gluten-free pasta on the market. Seems to be out right here. Huh, I'm gonna check with the manager, but if you have that at your Trader Joe's, scoop it, it's the best. Man, you guys, we talked about these cauliflower crisps. Oh, here you go, the name's Crisps are back. We talked about it last haul. We devoured these like nobody's business. I'm gonna pick up a couple packs for $3. These are so good. They're made with one key ingredient that makes them really creamy, coconut milk powder. It gives a really nice creaminess to it. It's very common for coconut milk powder to have tapioca maltodextrin. They spray it on to dry the coconut milk. It's not ideal, but it's not that bad. Everything else is complex carbohydrates with the cauliflower. I'm telling you, if you haven't tried this yet, eh, Canada eh, they're so darn tasty and definitely Bobby approved. I'll take two. There's a few things I want to point out here on the wall of cooking oils at Trader Joe's. Um, I would never buy flavored olive oils or extra virgin olive oils at the grocery store because every time it's flavored either with garlic or with uh, mushrooms or uh, truffles, they're not using the real deal. They're using natural garlic flavor, which is a fancy word for uh, uh, artificial flavors. So you're not actually getting real garlic in there. If you wanna do an infusion, you wanna do it at home, it actually wouldn't be safe to infuse garlic into here and then let it sit on the store shelf because bacteria can breed. But flavored olive oils are a major, major no-no. Uh, but there are other stuff here that's interesting. And you guys know I love cooking with ghee at home. Ghee, clarified butter, has no lactose or casein, and the flavor and smoke point is great. But the one at Trader Joe's is not organic or grass-fed. I only use the one either from Thrive Market or Fourth Generation that's grass-fed. So this is GMO milk, uh, clarified butter. Even though the price is decent, I would skip this one for sure. Uh, one of the better cooking extra virgin olive oils here is the Kalamata. This one's actually rated very high in terms of purity and not being rancid. So cook with that one. Uh, this is my favorite oil here. I applaud Trader Joe's for not calling these wisps. Everyone else on the market is a wisp or crisps. They're calling them cheese bites. They're pretty much a little cheaper than most crisps or wisps on the market, and they're just as clean. It's just a semi-aged grana padana, which is like Parmesan cheese, meaning it's a no-lactose, low-carb uh, snack. So for that price and for not putting wisps, it's Bobby approved. It could be organic, but most aren't on the market, so it's still okay. Getting a few questions about this holiday gift pack for extra virgin olive oil uh, on Instagram. And it's not bad actually, it's $9.99 for three bottles. Now it's not gonna be like the best quality olive oil, but there's one thing I really like here. See where it says single varietal? So these olives only come from that region of Italy, that region of Espana, and that region of Greece. Meaning you're not gonna have a bunch of mystery olives from all different locations that could be inferior. Still doesn't mean it's gonna be necessarily the best quality, but single origin is good, single estate is even better, but three bottles of that size for $9.99 makes a nice gift set. I would scoop it for sure. Of course, I love these cauliflower thins down here. They're always a great price. I do like the outer aisle ones a little better, but these are keto, very clean ingredients and great for sandwiches. Art and I make turkey sandwiches on that most days during the week and they're fantastic. But this caught my eye up here. Uh, pasta. So it's a whole wall of fresh pastas here. The gluten-free egg pasta here, the fettuccine, is actually pretty interesting because it's made with brown rice flour as the primary ingredient, which is a complex carbohydrate. Then a little bit of starch, which is normal. A whole egg. It'd be nice if it was organic, but I understand it. And really nothing else. So I prefer this kind of pasta over the regular wheat-based pasta, which really doesn't have nutrition. Brown rice has more. And $3.99? For nine ounces is a pretty good deal. If you're looking for fresh pasta to cook with, I would grab that in a heartbeat. If you're doing a lot of baking for the holidays, this is one of the best deals. Come to Trader Joe's, 
get a pound bar of your favorite chocolate. I would go with that 72% dark there. It's $4.99 for a pound block like that. Greatest deal ever. This is really, really cool for bakers out there. I saw this was a new item here at Trader Joe's, the creamy, no salt added organic almond butter. A little too pricey for 12 ounces for $8. Keep in mind, almond butter doesn't have to be organic. The uh, tree is protected by the shell, uh, so it doesn't really affect the uh, actual nut. Just get the non-organic one here. It's the same thing. It's almonds and salt. There's no nasty palm oil in there. In my opinion, not worth splurging the extra for that. Do you believe in miracles? Yes! I cannot believe I had to get kicked out. That is crazy. Every Trader Joe's I ever go to is always swarming with employees left and right. I guess they were just too busy restocking the shelves. We did a shop along in Trader Joe's. It must be the holiday magic working. So I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, if I missed anything, please leave a comment down below. Let me know uh, what you think uh, I should review next. And the reason why I didn't get those uh, keto brownies is because I don't really eat too much dairy and they had the grass fed whey. So if you try them, please leave a comment down below and let us know how they look because the ingredients are pretty next level. I was shocked to see that actually. Uh, so that's it. Like, subscribe, share, uh, spread the love to your friends and family about Flav City. The only way our channel keeps growing is by you spreading that Flav City love and the holiday love too. Uh, but there's two videos below me right now uh, for Arthur T. Almacy the third, for Desi, for Roasty the Toasty, and for myself, Bobby the Baboon. I leave you like I always do. Hashtag keep on cooking, mad love, and peace. Later y'all.